school after his bus driver dropped him off too far away from home. You know, we've been hearing a lot of stories about issues with the school bus. The boy says that he was lost and had to depend on strangers to get him home. WDSU's at Sherman DeSalle spoke with the family and has this exclusive report from the West Bank tonight. Yeah, good evening. I'm in West Wego, an area that is foreign to nine year old King Garcia. He and his family just moved here after losing everything in Homa due to Hurricane Ida. And after yesterday's incident, he doesn't want to ride the bus anytime soon. I didn't know I was going or who I was going to. Nine year old King Garcia is still shaken up after his long journey home from school. He wasn't sure of a home address to give to the bus driver. I told her this was in my stop and she said, and I asked her because she dropped me off at my stop and she said, no, get off. His grandmother says the bus driver dropped him off about two miles away from home in front of this gas station off Highway 90 in West Wego. A man spotted the boy walking in the rain and drove him to a nearby neighborhood, telling him to go knock on a few doors to find his family. I'm hysterical. I'm like, I'm in tears. I'm, I'm just, I'm devastated because not it's I was. At the same time, Eloise Frelo had been contacting the school for a couple of hours, trying to find her grandson. Stuck in the nearby neighborhood, another Samaritan spotted the fourth grader and contacted the school. They were able to get King's address and brought him home safely. Eloise is glad he's okay, but furious over what happened with the bus ride. Don't bring nobody else's child home if that's the way you feel. You at the end of your route, it doesn't matter where it ends at. Just as long as they get off your bus, you shouldn't be driving. She's threatening to press charges against the driver and hoping this doesn't happen to anyone else's family. Nothing short of neglect. Child endangerment will satisfy me because she put him in danger. You know, it's just that God prevailed in the situation, but it could have went the other way. Yeah, definitely could have went a different way than it did yesterday. Well, we reached out to Jefferson Parish Schools who released a statement. They said that they are aware that this incident took place yesterday. They're looking into it, reviewing it and seeing, making sure that it won't happen again. But shortly before this newscast, Miss Eloise told us that a school bus passed by and the driver told her that King will have a new driver next week. Reporting from West Wego, Sherman DeSalle, WDSU News. You can hear that.